It's week 80 of Zer, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 80 of Xur, however, before we actually get into the video, as you guys can see, Lord Saladin returns this week, and uh, this coming week, or at least, in the Iron Banner Control, uh, we will be getting Bonus Valor, will be awarded for Crucible Playlist, as well as Emerald Coast will be a featured map in Gambit Prime, and that is actually a new map, and it's going to be pretty awesome. And going back to Xur, before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken uh, giveaway for the month of April 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Real quick, come April 2019, I will be doing giveaways a little bit differently, and I will actually give you guys the details on that a little bit later on. So, Xur is located on the EDZ, and he is by the Winding Cove, in this little area right here. Zer, what's up, dude? Check out my moves, man. Check out my moves. <laughs> so, like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Huckleberry, which is an exotic submachine gun. Then we have Mask of the Quiet One for the Titan, Gemini Jester for the Hunter, and the Ooh Controverse Hold for the Warlock. Interesting. Let's go ahead and start with the Huckleberry. Turn the perk on this is Ride the Bull, which increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. This also comes with a fluted barrel, ricochet rounds, rampage, as well as short action stock. And Devil's Work is one of the ornaments. I don't actually know if there's another ornament to this, but uh, pretty sure they may be. Now, the Huckleberry is definitely a, a decent exotic to use. Um, I probably would use this more so in PvE than PvP, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a tier 2 in PvE, but probably a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP. I, I just don't see the Huckleberry being the best reason to use up my exotic slot for a weapon. Next is the Mask of the Quiet One for the Titan. In terms of perk on this is Dread of a Siege, which gain ability energy when you're damaged when critical heal on kills. Pretty interesting. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. Now, this is a pretty interesting exotic to use for a Titan, and I probably am going to give it a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP because it is a really really good exotic and I haven't actually used it but I have a buddy of mine um, Spikes who loves using this Titan um, until he recently switched to Hunter but he actually likes using this exotic a lot when doing PvE and PvP so it's gonna be a tier 2 for now um, but I will be checking it out myself uh, very soon Next, we have the Gemini Jester for the Hunter. Try to perk on this is Misdirection, which dodges and disorients and removes enemy radars. Real quick, I don't know if they fixed this or not, but this does not work very good in PvP. It, it, last time I tried it, it was terrible. So, I don't know if they fixed it or not, but as of this video, this thing is definitely going to get a 3.5 in PvP, probably even a tier 4. And maybe, you know what, it'll get a tier 2 in PvE because it actually works against adds. But when it comes to PvP, it does not do its job. And we've actually tested this out um, in private matches to see if it actually worked the way it was supposed to, and it doesn't. So, yeah. F this freaking exotic. Next, we have the uh, Controverse Hold for the Warlock, and the intrinsic perk on this is Chaotic Exchanger, which improved charging for Void Grenades. 
Then we have uh, Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And yeah, that's about it. Now real quick, if you were like one of those people who love using the handheld Supernova, definitely grab this. Definitely good in PvE and PvP if you do use that handheld Supernova a lot. If you don't, don't worry about this. But that handheld Supernova definitely, obviously, capitalizes on this exotic. So, with that said, it is definitely getting a tier 2 in PvE and PvP, and possibly even a tier 1.5 in PvP. You know, an argument can be made, and hey, I probably will not disagree with you. But... Uh, this thing is this thing's amazing. It really is However, if you do not use the handheld supernova, then this exotic is pretty much useless to you So let's go over to consumables. We have your five of swords. If you don't have this go ahead and grab it. This will give you your um, Your nightfall challenge card and then we have your invitations if you don't already have one of these go ahead and grab it and last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which still does not give um, Forsaken Exotics. You can only buy them from the exotic gear uh, from Zer. So if you don't have an exotic that's older, then go ahead and try your luck. But if you do, then I wouldn't even worry about it. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.